Tell your story, right? I um, So, uh, do we go to London much? Do we catch the tube back in London if we do? Yeah? I'll tell you a story of what... Uh, what not, it didn't happen to me, but I just witnessed this happen. I'm so glad it did. So we'll see if this like, relates to you somewhat. So I was like, just one day, just getting the tube. I'm on my way back home. And as soon as I sat down... I'll end on this story, right? As soon as I sat down, I saw this pregnant lady having an argument with an elderly man over the priority seat. Oh, you know that seat where a pregnant lady or an old man has to fucking sit on? Yeah, it was literally round one, fight! It was so good. <laughs> this is how it went down. So, the, the pregnant lady, she was already sitting there. She was chilling, rubbing her baby belly, minding her own business. No joke, old guy came over and he just went, oh, I want to sit there. And I'm sure the pregnant lady was thinking, uh, what's wrong with this cunt? Can't he sound fucking pregnant? Why do you fuck up? You take it seriously. Get it out of my face, right? And then the old guy cracked it and just went, get your fat ass off the seat! <laughs> Whoa! Where the fuck did that come from, bro? <laughs> and then the pregnant lady cracked it with a very legitimate response. I'm pregnant! <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> and then the old guy said the almighty words that he thought would get the pregnant lady off the seat. He just said, I'm on benefits. <laughs> just want to see him get his benefits card out. You see, you see, that's my card, that's my bit. And, and there were, you know what? There are like other people offering him their seats and he just rejected them all. He was like, it's not the same, it's not the same. Can't sit there, it's not my seat. And then finally, he turns back to the pregnant lady. Sorry to use you as an example, sir. Um, he turns back to the pregnant lady. Thank you, thank you, good role playing um he turns back to the pregnant lady and just goes you know what fuck you and your seat and then he storms off to the next carriage just muttering to himself he was like oh it's so rude so rude why wouldn't she off the seat for me such a nuisance kids today i deserve respect what a selfish sack of shit like a kettle riding into the sunset <laughs> now i don't know what anyone else was thinking about on the tube at the time but all I could think of was, wow, the pedophile from Family Guy really let himself go. <laughs> Although I do think if it was the pedophile from Family Guy, it'll go like this. Get your fat ass off the seat, man. <laughs> the baby can stay. Anyway. 